I'm Surya with the Morning Watch, a MSU's conservative independent publication. We're here at Michigan State University at the Black Empowerment Festival to discuss with students why they are here and also what they think the race relations are like in America. What brings you out to the Black Empowerment Festival today? Uh, so I came out today to support my fellow Black Student Alliance members and to also come out and check out the different African Americans on campus has made impact and to also receive an honor of being uh, highlighted by Black Student Alliance this year. Uh, I just wanted to start off Black Hair Street Month. Uh, I just wanted to make some time. Guys, finish up some homework so I can have time to go here, have fun, and dance because I love the hustles and stuff. Here, so yeah. Um, pretty much to see my people since Normally, like we're very like dispersed all around campus. Like it's rare that I like see so many people that I can relate to so closely. Pretty much people from my okay. community. What do you think are the biggest threats to Black empowerment in America? The biggest threats to Black empowerment is uh, passiveness. So like you see something wrong, you see something go down in the Black community, and as allies, as other races, they just uh, oftentimes dismiss their problem because it doesn't pertain to them. So really internalizing and uh, taking the time to look at the perspective of our culture is a better way for like for everybody to get more together and uh, more cohesive as a people. White privilege and racism. Racism, first of all, let's go over the definition of racism. Racism is basically when uh, like the system is stacked against an in particular race or people and um, white, what is it called? White. Basically what white people have is it's just they have a privilege over us, white privilege, and they need to come and realize that because when people express especially people of color express um, that they have these oppressions that have been set against us from slavery and even before then. Um, like, it's not us complaining, but it's more so us expressing that there is an issue and it needs to be fixed. I would say definitely our education system. I think that we have a lot of work to do, um, making sure that we educate not only our black students, but um, other cultures and understanding um, that there's still a gap. Um, and also, I believe that our criminal justice system is a big part of um, our black empowerment and us moving forward. Do you think the current presidential administration is going to hamper or benefit the black empowerment? For the nation. The nation? Who? I would say it has been um, definitely a hinder. Um, I don't think it has helped at all. I think that um, it has caused a lot of people to feel like it's okay to be a lot more open with their ignorance instead of trying to become one and make things better. Current one? Um, um, I'm going to say overall, this might be controversial, but I say yes, because I think because this is such a polarizing time and we're at this moment, we can really see how people think and people are being very bold and truly expressing how they feel. Okay. We can, as soon as we can get everyone being honest about how they feel, you know, whether their views are like problematic or whether they're radical, we can like finally address the problems that are there for what they are. I would say a hamper, and I'm not gonna specifically claim that there is any racism in the current administration. You know, that's not really my place. But I would say that there's been a lack of denouncing it and kind of, there's been, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest with you, like a, due to a lack of action, it's kind of been subconsciously promoted.